This game is rated M for mature, for violence, blood, gore, and me constantly getting murdered. Viewer discretion advised. Hello ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. I'm Laura Haven. Welcome back to Resident Evil 5. This ship is huge. Do you think they're planning to use it to spread the Ouroboros? No. Using a ship like this would give away their position too soon. They must have another plan. So, when last we left our heroes, we found out they were planning on spreading the Ouroboros uh... Okay. I'm shooting you in the knee. That means this happens. Well, sort of. Well, awful things are happening. Awful, horrible things. Alright, so... Since I've last played... God damn it, I hate you all with your freaking armors. There we go. You know what? Fuck it. Since I've last played... I've actually managed to completely beat the game on my own, on uh, single player. Now you might be wondering why I did that. Well, it's a, there's a couple of reasons. One of the very, very, very good reasons... Excuse me a moment. <laughs> he threw a grenade at my face and I kinda had to do something about it. One of the really good reasons for doing so Take it. is this Watch level it. in particular. This level has all sorts of glitches and errors in the PC version. Um, one of them being unkillable enemies and a point where you can't continue the level. So I had to play on my own to figure out exactly how to get around that sort of nonsense. You grab it. Okay. And successfully, okay? I didn't need whatever. Uh, I managed to successfully get around that, and by successfully get around that, I mean I was forced to basically restart the game over and over and over again until I got away, until I managed to get to be able to play through the entire level without the glitch happening. And one of the unkillable enemies is actually killable, it's just that you have to use explosives. So if we run into that enemy, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Hi. But now I'm, for now, I'm just going to be spamming shotgun enemies because they're jerks like that. And I hate stairs. I really hate stairs. It's, this game is just bad with hitboxes sometimes. Anyway, as I was saying... Oh, come on! You should not have that much health! I hit you with a shotgun point blank several times! Hi! Well, that works. I didn't think I'd kill him that fast. Good job, uh, assist there, Sheva. Oh, doggies, you're supposed to be dead. <laughs> Two for the price of one. Good job. I can respect that. That less so. All right, so this enemy right there, the one that's just transformed, he's the potentially unkillable enemy. Get off! There. Hopefully that finished him off. Yep, okay. So if you don't have a flashbang, or you don't have a hand grenade, or some other explosive uh, weapon, that enemy could potentially just be not killable. He'll just wander around, and no matter how many times you shoot his weak spot to try and open him up to get it shot, it won't work. Uh, I don't know what causes this. I don't know if it happens 100% of the time. But it's a pain in the ass, and it kept happening to me. Give me a minute. You think I'd be better at that? Because I've also been practicing uh, mercenary mode, and, the, and reloading in the item menu is something you do a lot in mercenary mode. Also, you might notice sometimes that the frame rate just kind of has been sucking during this playthrough. That's because my computer's right now at 100% CPU. It it can't handle going any more than it is right now. So, this is this game might be the l upper limit of what my computer's capable of recording for now. Until I do something about that. Anyway, 
the next part that is a bit of a problem. I mean, like an unkillable enemy, that's fine. That enemy specifically can't climb ladders, so you can easily get away from it and ignore it for the rest of the time. However, I think you need to kill all the enemies because that enemy being unkillable triggers the this part of the event in the sense that it makes this part of the event undoable. So, no matter what, Sheva is always the one that's going to be stuck inside that thing. So, if you're playing online, just know that Sheva is going to be trapped in there. Alright, what you're looking for is an enemy that turns into that uh, shelled enemy again. <sighs> Another reason why I brought my hand grenades. Also, there is a blue thing in that in that area. See, you just saw it break. Guess what? The problem I was mentioning, it's happening. I need him to come down, I think. Or he could die. There's a... There he goes. Okay, this... Never mind. He was supposed to transform. Guess what? I can't complete this. One of the enemies is supposed to come down here, is supposed to transform into one of the shelled enemies, you kill that enemy, and he drops the key card. Without the key card, you can't continue. Come on, forget it. So this literally can't be continued. Oh. But I should show this off. Boom. Anytime you see one of those buttons, you can shoot it. Anyway. Um, so I'm stuck and I can't do anything to continue. So I'll be back in a bit. Take two. Let's see if it works this time, shall we? Come on down. Thank you. So if you're the person in the cage, obviously you can help out a ton from the inside the cage and it'll be fine. Come on down. Actually, when I was playing, trying to play through all this nonsense, yeah. I was trying to do it online, so my co-op partner was stuck in there, and I thought I was doing everything wrong, and I couldn't find the key. Key card? No, it just happens like this. All right, so I'll be back, and we'll see if it happens again. Take three. No key card. I'll be back. Take four. No key card. I'll be back. Take five. Nope. And that's take six. All right. So I'm going to try something different this time. If it works, then I'll show you guys what I did. If it doesn't, then I'll just keep doing banging my head against the wall and hoping it works. So I'll be back in a bit. All right. So here I am at the tippy tip top of this area. You might see way off in the distance what I'm looking for. Him. This is pretty much the only angle you're going to get to hit this guy. And he's the one that hits that switch, which drops that onto Sheva. Now you might be wondering why I didn't try this before. That's because in my practice runs, this guy wasn't here. And I have no idea why. The only way you're going to be able to pull that off is with a rifle. <laughs> Sorry. I don't care how good of a shot you are. It will take pretty much all your ammunition of any uh, gun you're using to try and get that guy otherwise. But if you kill that guy right then and there, it prevents the event from happening. So I'm going to run all the way back and I picked up a red herb over here in the meantime. And we'll go ahead and continue on. But I just wanted to demonstrate the full length of that glitch. And usually, your tell for that glitch going to happen is the unkillable uh, enemy, the unkillable Magini before this. Unfortunately, because we do the do it this way, I don't believe we can go through here anymore. Which isn't a big deal. Get over here, Sheva. I need you to pick something okay. up. Uh, I don't think we can pick up the, uh, uh, the key cards. We can't go through that gate anymore. But all there is over there is a couple of enemies and, like, some of the treasure at the top. 
which is perfectly fine to be avoided. But now, this area is uh, nice and free. Oh, and in case you didn't notice, every time Sheva came, got trapped in here, the first thing she would do is pick up that first aid spray. Take it, Roger. All right, well, let's continue on. See, no enemies spawned at all that time. Pick it up. Thank you. Aha! Uh, let's see. I'm going to give you that. Thanks, you! Give me give back me the flash grenade. I think I hate you. Alright. Let's move on, I guess. Two big man Maginis. We know how to deal with them. Oh, right. Um, the AI is programmed to hit that button for you. And one shot with a halfway decent magnum can take care of these guys at this point in the game also, as long as you do a headshot. So, they're really non-threatening nowadays. When you had basically only a handgun, sure, they were a threat. Now, not so much. Ow. Okay, that's it. Sheva, save me. Nothing interesting. Let's go. And I think I fixed the recording issue, but only just barely. I changed a setting in OBS, and uh, it went from using 100% of my CPU at all t pretty much all times to mostly using 90%. <laughs> you... Stay away from this herb. Thanks, Good. Not that I need a ton of those. Now that I think about it, I've actually gotten like all the healing items I could ever need in my organized screen, but still, the AI is a bit of a pain in the ass. Kachu. Take it. Roger. You grab it. Okay. Hate giving it to her, but I'm full on inventory because I had to bring that stupid rifle with me. Oh, and actually, now that I think about it, I remember the next area. The next area, I kind of need the rifle. It won't be easy finding Wesker. That won't be a problem. Once he knows we're here, he'll find us. And how do you know that? Let's just say we have a history together, and he's not the type to let grudges go. Hmm. He must have done something to really piss him off. It goes a bit beyond just pissing them off. So, are you going to tell me what happened? Maybe. But not until after we put an end to all this. Deal? Okay. But I'm holding you to that. You grab it! Okay! And open says me. This is the new shotgun, the Jailbreaker. But because I've done stuff on... Come on! Roger! Ah, hell. Because I've done single player stuff, I don't need the jailbreaker because I've already got it. Cut. Hold on. Give Change me that with me. This. I'll discard it. Give me a grenade. Take this. There. You grab it. Okay. And you pick it. I still want all uh, want us to pick up all the weapons because they can still be useful for the mission that they're in. But I don't need it because I've already got a copy of the jailbreaker. I almost skipped the cutscene because I did that so much in multiplayer. Thanks, Ella. What's going on here? Nothing that concerns either of you. We're not giving you an option. Now spit it out. Tell us what we want to know and you won't get hurt. Where's Wesker? If you can behave yourselves, maybe I'll tell you. Damn it! She's tough. I'll give her that much. Her dress must give her plus the dexterity. I mean, why else would she wear it? Chris, is this? Whatever it is, Excella seemed protective of it. All right. If she was protective of it, we want it. Also, glass. Anytime you can break glass, you probably should. 
Let's see, can I turn any of these on? No, useless herb. All right, onward. Let's go chase after Excella. And I, uh, uh oh. All right, so remember when I mentioned that the rifle would actually be pretty useful in this area? Here's why. Got you. Got you. Got you. Anyone else want to play? No. Okay. Well then. Perfect. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, they're coming out of the woodwork. Run. Use cover. Run from cover to cover as necessary. Have a decent weapon. You know the drill by now. Sheva, get behind cover! Oh, I hate you, Sheva, so much. I'm sorry, I hate you, Robo Sheva. That's gonna hurt. Hi! Thanks for showing your face. Sheva! Get in cover! I <laughs> shot him through cardboard boxes. Hi! Gotcha! Almost like I planned it, too. Aw, oh, one of those should have hit. Alright, off wall. Wakey, wakey! Burn! Burn for your beliefs! <laughs> oh, there's fire right next to me. Oh dear. Come on out. I want to play as well. Sheva, I really dislike you sometimes. Ah, there's a guy right behind me. Oh, and they, they start using riot shields, by the way. They're a bit stronger than the shields that the other Magini use. A little bit. Kind of a pain. No, you... Okay? Uh, I guess I'm fine now. Honestly, if it were me, and uh, if it, I was not playing for YouTube, I should say, if it were me, it, I'm pretty sure I'm always me. Alright, if you were playing just on your, cell, on your own and you weren't going to do co-op in this game, I'd pretty much tell you just to go amateur as the lowest rank of difficulty, just because of how the AI works. Not because it's hard because of the way the AI works, not at all. Obviously I'm doing fine beating the game as is. I'm just saying so you don't have to go back to previous areas to get more ammunition and other nonsense because the AI will waste it all and waste all your healing items and stuff too. Go away. How that made his head explode? I have no idea, but I'm not going to complain. At least for now. Excuse me. That was rude and I didn't like it. I'm actually going to need that. Uh... Well, Are you okay? uh, I'm actually going to need to use this. You'll see why in a bit. I can't use the city of grenades right now. All right, let's go up these stairs. Lad ladder, ladder. It's not stairs. It's okay, Haven. You can figure out words once in a while. And say hello to one of the hardest basic enemies in the game. The Minigun Magini. Yep. These guys are less no, than pleasant. Get over here then. Alright, come on. Got him. Alright. Come on, Magnum! Uh, 
Eh, just like most enemies, you can do a follow-up attack. But you might notice that was a little stronger than most of his follow-up attacks. Ugh, sometimes you get uppercut, sometimes you get that big old haymaker. But if you're gonna fight him like this, you better have a weapon with more than enough firepower to do this. Because if you let him attack back when he has that minigun, and you will die. He doesn't just use it as a uh, ranged weapon either. He will also use it. Oops. You know what? Fuck it. <sighs> the game was going to be that finicky about letting me discard it. Anyway, he can also use it as a melee weapon. He will just swing it in a huge arc and knock out anybody near him. So, yeah. That was the brute force method. Obviously, there's stuff like prox mines and there's uh, all sorts of explosives all around that you can use. Basically, if you want to fight him in a, you know, tactical way, that uh, then you'll have to use the room to do it. And this gives you the other key card. Which we're going to use over here. So yeah, you have to kill him. If you're in, like, professional difficulty, the hardest difficulty, I'm pretty sure he can't be stunned by, like, all the attacks that I was using on him to set him up for those big attacks. So, good luck. <laughs> oh, yeah, this room. <laughs> yeah. And that demonstrates that th this specific cover can be destroyed by rockets. And they have lots and lots of body armor, which can stop a rifle. It can also Come stop on. a. Okay. It can also stop a minigun. A, not a minigun, a magnum. In case you were curious. Don't worry, I'm fine. I know what I'm doing. Okay, now I need to move. So your options are have enough rifle ammo to take them out, which I don't, or get down here out of their easy line of sight. Where is it? Oh, it's pushing me. Wow, I've never seen that strategy before. Push me into the line of fire. Come on. Need to get rid of all the spiders before you move on because those spiders will trap you in place while the rocket launcher guys have all sorts of fun. And I believe the Dead Bride's necklaces come from the guys with the rocket launchers. Where is he? What the hell? When did he get over there? Did I just walk past him? And somehow I stomped right through a metal helmet because I'm Chris effing Redfield. All right, well, that got us all the treasure and we can move on. Open. Let me in. Second floor, zombies, shotguns and west and uh so Matrix fanboys. Made it this far. Too bad you won't make it much further. The news of hearing a breed of humans given birth by the progenitor virus. The Wesker children were entrusted with endless potential. Of them, only one survived. You. Are you saying I was manufactured? I was to become a god. <laughs> Creating a new world with an advanced race of human beings. However, all was lost with Raccoon City. Despite that setback, your creation still holds great significance. <laughs> Now my candle burns dimly. Uh, ironic, 
isn't it? For one who has the right to be a god. To face his own mortality. The right to be a god. <laughs> is now mine. The right to be a god. You. Arrogant even until the end. Only one truly capable of being a god deserves that right. What a heart-stopping twist! Just in case you thought Wesker was well put together, very methodical, and, you know, a bit of a genius, turns out, no, he's just another I'm going to become a god enemy. Whatever. I'm sure it couldn't possibly be a big deal. We'll stop the Roboros and, and never even have to fight Wesker. Right? Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you folks next time.